While the coal generator was doing a great job of providing all my electricity needs for the factory, unfortunately there's been an update which has kind of broken this. You can see over here, it used to just have the one input where all of the coal would be fed in from the tractor, which was on an automated path going from the coal mine all the way back to here, delivering the coal. Now we have a second input that we need, and that is water. Now, unfortunately, there's no water around here, and laying all those pipes would be just as difficult as relocating the entire coal generator itself. So I think I'm going to try and disassemble this and make all of our power generation off-site. So it's going to be quite an endeavor, but uh, this is more fun, something else to do. This is the location of the coal mining operation and right here is the truck loading station where the coal is loaded onto the tractor which drives back to the base and powers the coal generator but since we're going to be moving the coal generator here we can actually go ahead and just delete this. So instead we're going to have to erect the coal generator here and we're going to have to power it or fuel it with some water so let's get to that. It looks like everything's going well with this coal generator, but I'm noticing at a capacity of 75 megawatts, that's still not going to be enough to run all the machinery around here and the machinery back at the main base. So we're going to have to add another coal generator here, or perhaps just overclock this one, or maybe both. So we're going to start off by just making another coal generator here and redoing some of the logistics to make that work. With everything here appearing to go well, now I just have to begin the long task of wiring this station all the way back to the main base, which will just involve me having to walk the whole way and set up a lot of these power posts. So I really hope that I brought enough supplies because this is going to be an interesting and arduous endeavor.
Well, it looks like everything's running smooth. I was a little worried there <laughs> because we saw the capacity down there at 50. But as soon as everything linked up, we're up to the 200, wait, 200 megawatt hours. That doesn't make sense. Something must still be running here. But I think we're still good because our consumption looks like it's peaking around 75. That's just outside the range of one of the coal generators. So I'm going to head over here. We're going to shut down these biomass burners, which will be nice because we now have a pretty much completely automated form of power generation because previously I was working with all of these biomass generators and I was having to manually harvest all of the biomass myself, which was a little bit annoying. But the real thing that bothered me was the fact that I had to destroy all the trees, which apparently do not grow back. <laughs> I'm hoping at some point I can plant trees some kind of reforestation because I do feel bad about having uh, wiped out a lot of the local flora. So we can now take care of all these. I'm going to just make sure that I grab all the biomass from these so that we don't waste anything. And then once these stop running, we should also, let's see, I've got tons of coal here. Once these stop running, we will have a good test to see whether or not everything is going to be running fine on the new coal generators, although we do pretty much know that already with being able to test everything, all the schematics, or not schematics, the uh, statistics in the fuse boxes for the power poles. So let's get rid of all these guys. It's going to free up some space for, who knows, like a break room. <laughs> now, I did a pretty ugly job of creating that coal generator outpost. It's going to get the job done, and maybe when I'm a little bit wealthier in terms of supplies, I'll be able to go back and, uh, and fix that up. But it's pretty nice to have everything running now. <laughs> Hopefully we're not going to get a lot of shutdowns since I do have all of that extra capacity and we are now on one single grid. There's, I think, one more biomass burner here that I can get rid of. There you are. All right, perfect. Cool. Looks like everything's good. I also did not mention that we now have a new material type, if it will be produced, and that is these copper sheets which you have to get from copper ingots. So come on, no power. Oh boy, what did I do? <laughs> Where is this all going? You can see how difficult it is to keep track of everything sometimes when you just get more and more complex in your building. There we go. Now you should be good to go, right? Yes, all running. Okay, whew. Got a little scared there, but uh, seems like we have everything under control. I've just experienced my first shutdown here. And it looks like we're having some difficulty with the power because we're now reading on the pole that the capacity is just 75 megawatts, megawatt hours. And so something has gone wrong with one of the generators. So unfortunately it's super far away, which means that we might have to be going back and forth a lot unless we figure out how to make this more reliable. All right, what seems to be the problem here? No fuel, why is this not, hang on. So these conveyor belts should be pushing at least the remainder of this coal into these. And it's just not feeding. Oh, what is that? We've got a, <laughs> a steel bar or an iron rod in the way, blocking all of the coal from going into that coal generator. So I don't know how that's happened. And I'm having some difficulty getting rid of it. Well, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what that first thing was, but it looks like we are all set again. So hopefully there's not something similar blocking this one, and it looks like there is. What has happened? <laughs> I must have accidentally put some stuff in there into the uh, storage bin, and it created a uh, annoying little backup. So we're going to have to reset this conveyor belt too. And we should be good now. We've got coal definitely going into that one. We're here at 17, should be feeding now, 18, 19, 20, okay, great. So it is now feeding into both of these successfully. That was a little bit strange, but <laughs> everything seems to be good now. We've got our two coal generators going, producing a sizable amount of electricity for the plant. Now, with the assemblers going, you can see this is peaking at around 90, so we don't have as much overhead as I would have liked. These two generators, they're so significant that I kind of figured this would be able to uh, 
tied me over for a long time, but that may not be the case. So a lot of good stuff that we took care of here, a lot of housekeeping, uh, but we're making good progress. And next we're going to be moving on to upgrading the base, getting some steel production, and then on our way to some gunpowder, which will help us clear out some of the rocks in order to upgrade the base. You can see it's just one vicious cycle. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video in this series, and I hope to see you in the next one.